What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about Windows file recovery on Windows 11. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so what the heck is WFR Windows file recovery, which is a pretty awesome little utility. Uh, so this is how you get it. So on the taskbar, we're gonna click on the Microsoft Store and on the search bar, we're gonna type in the following Windows file recovery, just hit enter. You're going to get this. It's free, uh, not a lot of stars, but it works sometimes. We're going to click on get. You don't need to sign in, so don't freak out. Just say no thanks. It's gonna automatically download for you. It's a pretty small utility. Once it's done, you're going to get this. So just click on launch. Once it launches, you're going to get this black screen. I think this is the reason why a lot of people are not using it because you gotta do a little bit of command prompt stuff, right? So for this scenario, for this to work and see how it works out with no problem, within the desktop, I created two folders. One is BTNHD docs and one is BTNHD recovery. So within BTNHD docs, I just created like a lot of text files, about 228 items. Yeah, 228 items. Uh, and I'm basically gonna control A to select all, right click on it and just hit delete and it's going to delete it. Now you're probably saying to yourself, hey Bernardo, you can recover it, it's inside the recycling bin. Yes, this is true, but what happens if you go inside your recycling bin and you just click on empty recycling bin and hit yes, it's gone, no, what's going on? So how can you use Windows file recovery to recover those deleted items that you just deleted and also emptied out your recycling bin? So. On the D drive, all right, you gotta have a different partition, different area for the recovery to work. That's what I noticed. Uh, the folder that I had within my desktop, BTNHD recovery, I just moved it over to this D drive, which is a different partition. And I open up command prompt and I gave it the following command. WinFR, which is file recovery. D, the location of where I want to actually recover into. N, which is basically the filter of, and I did asterisk, which is a wildcard dot and extension. So anything that was deleted with an extension of TXT. Hit enter. You're going to get this. Definitely hit Y to continue. And it's gonna start scanning the disk. Uh, it's pretty fancy. Start scanning this 83, 55, 100%, and you get all this craziness happening. Like, it's crazy, right? I'm like, makes me feel like it's actually working. It is working. And once it's done, it gives you a nice little option to view recovered files. So just hit Y for yes. It opens up. It opens up this. So it opens this for you. If you double click on the recovery logs, it tells you what has been recovered. But the only thing is it doesn't originally give you the file name. It gives you all this gibberish stuff. So you actually have to go to each text file and find that text file that you have the serial numbers or the banking accounts. So that's a lot of files that you have to double click and check. If you go inside the recycling bin, you got another gibberish folder. If you click on that again, these are all the text files that I uh, deleted, but they don't give you the original name, which kind of sucks. It's kind of, it's okay. I like the fact that it does recover everything that was deleted within the recycling bin as well as the desktop. But the fact that it does not keep the original name, hey, that's a, that's a con for me, but a pro that it actually recovered all those files with no problem. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.